Hey there, thanks so much for tuning in to another conversation on the three tip bit. I have my great friend Walker McKay joining us today. Walker, you know the drill, we're gonna jump right in. Tell us who you are, what you do, and who you do it for. Thank you, Lindsay, I'm really honored to be here on your, on your three bit tip. Um, three tip bit, three bit? Three tip bit, uh, you something. know what, I oh, screwed up too, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the uh, principal and founder of the No BS Sales School. Um, I have another company called McKay Consulting. I work with kind of small, medium-sized businesses. You know, how sometimes business owners struggle to figure out how do I grow a sales team? How do I make it better? Um, we offer, um, I, I teach and train and coach people simple sales systems and also how do you add accountability and how do you shorten your sales cycle? So, um, and when we do that, owners say, you know, thank God they can, they now have, they know who to hire and how to hire them and then how to work pe people when they're on their team. I love it. So good. All right. So you have all of this experience, all this knowledge, amazing stories to tell. I wish we had more than 10 minutes, but you know that I've asked you to come to the table today with just three tips for our sales professionals, business owners, anyone who is trying to close business. So what are the three you'd like to share with us today? So um, the first one I want to share is that this is, while these are, and I, it's boring to say these are difficult times, I would tell you that now is as important as ever to work on your prospecting muscle. What that means is to continue to pick up the phone. The phone is your best friend right now because you will not be able to see people in person. And anybody that will see you in person, you don't want to see in person because they've probably got the coronavirus. But pick up the phone and, and call people. You're gonna get voicemail a lot. Call your customers, talk to them. The first question once you ask your customers is, how are you? How's it going? When you're calling prospects, the goal of prospecting is to, is to connect and build familiarity. That's the goal, it's not necessarily to sell. So when you call prospects, ask them, how's it going, right? Have a human conversation, find out how they're doing. And so that way, and you can ask, is there some way I can help, right? A human connection, not just some sales bot. So the second tip I have is you're going to have some deals that crater during this time. They're going to fall apart for whatever reason, because of timing or because of people are afraid. It is absolutely going to happen. Here's what I'll warn you, or here's what I'll suggest is have a two minute pity party. It's okay to get pissed off and mad and upset and kick the floor. Hold that down to two minutes because you can spend a whole lot of time mad about a deal that didn't close. And what happens is that ends up costing you can be 10 times more because you pout instead of getting back on the damn phone and setting more meetings and building your pipeline. The third thing I'll say is to really, really watch out for the excuses that you're making. And a lot of, I, I mentioned this because this was a, a big time thing I struggled with and didn't even know it. Nothing that happened was my fault. I would blame the economy or my company or our pricing or whatever. And when somebody asked me the question one day, hey, if I told you I thought those were excuses, how would you handle it? It was like somebody stuck a dagger through me. And so what I'll ask you is, what, are you, what kind of words are you saying like, nobody is, it's impossible, we can't, what I want you to say instead is, I haven't figured out how to. I hadn't figured out how to sell in the time of coronavirus. I haven't figured out how to be better at phone prospecting. I hadn't figured out how to get somebody to, or get this person to call me back, right? Take ownership. And I think during this time is a super time to practice those three things because it'll make you stronger in 71 years from now when this is all over. <laughs> Thanks for the optimism, right? <laughs> right. Oh, Life well, will go on anyway. Love it. I can always count on you to shoot it to us straight. So here's what I heard you say. Keep prospecting. Yes. Period, right? Yes. Number two, um, some deals are going to die. And it's okay to give yourself two minutes. That's it. I mean, I'm the type of person that I literally need to put the timer on my watch, put the timer on my phone kick, cry, and scream, right? And then move on, right? Yes. On to the next one. I love that. And then the last thing you said was taking ownership, right? So no more excuses. Um, let, let's move on. Take ownership. I love how you gave us some specific language around that. That's great. Um, so how in the world can people find you and connect with you? Thank you. Um, um, 
I'm on LinkedIn, pretty uh, a post videos, a how to sales videos. I don't, I do not do motivation. Um, I'll just show you how to do it. Um, so LinkedIn is a good place at Walker McKay. I'm on Twitter pretty often at Walker McKay. I'm also on Instagram and um, my Instagram handle is no B, at no BS sales school. And then on Facebook, what I recommend people do is join the No BS Sales Community, which is a free group that we have on Facebook where I also post videos and articles, stuff like that. So the No BS Sales Community with Walker McKay. Awesome. I also have a podcast, if you care, right? The No BS Sales Podcast um, with Walker McKay. Um, and so you can find that any place you listen to podcasts. So I'm fairly easy to find if you just Google my name, W-A-L-K-E-R-M-C-K-A-Y. Love it. You have taken all the excuses off the table for us not to be able to find you and connect with you. So thank you for that. Uh, okay, so we are going to end on a high note. What is one thing that uh, that makes you happy that you can share with us? Um, I love this. And, you know, I have a, a whole bunch of things. But the thing that first came to mind, and I hope my family isn't listening, but it's going to Maine every year the first week in June with three friends. It'll be our 15th year going if we get to go this year. Um, and we go and we fish and we're out in the woods with no electricity and no cell phone and no news for a whole week. Um, and it's, we're totally off the grid and we drink liquor and we tell stories and without any way to distract ourselves other than those things. And fit, oh yeah, we fish sometimes too. So that's, that's my happy place. And that's what I love to do and where I love to be. So good. Awesome. Well, Walker, thanks so much for joining us. And as always, thank you for tuning in to another three tip bit. See you in the next conversation. Thanks for joining us.